is Mark from Lightmap and I'm going to show you the new updated Houdini connection for HDR Light Studio which now supports area lights and also an improved workflow. So I'll press the tab button and go to Digital Assets and HDR Light Studio Connection Control. This will make the HDR Light Studio Connection Controller which is a node whose properties allow us to start the connection with HDR Light Studio. So I'll press the start button. There's no lighting or environment light in this scene whatsoever. So the connection has sensed this and it's offering to make a new IBL hook. If I press OK, it will actually create a new end light for HDR Light Studio to connect with. So now HDR Light Studio has started and then you can see the end light is created here. And HDR Light Studio is actually attached and controlling the content, the image that's actually used on that end light. So let's go back to HDR Light Studio. And if I press the play button, we'll be offered to uh, generate an import geometry. This will export an Alembic file, that's a temporary Alembic file, and HDR Light Studio will load that so it has the scene geometry and camera. Uh, so we can do light painting inside of HDR Light Studio. So if I press the import button, we now have the model. So in Houdini, I'll just go to the render view and press render so we have an IPR. So as we're lighting in here, we can see the results also updating inside of Houdini. Okay, so now we can simply drag and drop a light onto the model in HDR Light Studio and it will update right away in Houdini. So at the moment, all the lighting is coming from this HDRI map, which is at low resolution. It's a proxy of what the final map will be, but it's very quick to calculate. So as we drag around on here, it updates instantly in HDR Light Studio. And as we let go, it will then share that proxy map with Houdini. We can change the resolution of the map that's shared, which is here, proxy map size. And also when we get onto making area lights, we can uh, control their proxy size as well in terms of pixel resolution. So the size of the proxy is not the size shown on the interface. We actually control it from here. It's rendered separately. So I'll just press OK and leave the settings as they are. So to make an area light in the new updated connection, is as simple as on the particular light that we want to make an area light, there is in the master settings an area light checkbox. If we enable that, the light is actually removed from the HDRI map that's shared with Houdini and it is built as an area light inside. If I just go back to Houdini and we zoom out of here, let's drag this over here, we can see that HDR Light Studio connection has built the area light and everything to do with area lights is uh, nicely organized in here so that all of the area lights will appear here. So if we go back to HDR Light Studio and uh, turn off my background so I can isolate this light and then pick the light. We can use Smart Dolly and as I drag that closer you can see the area light inside of our render view come in close and as soon as I let go that will be updated inside of Houdini. So if I swing that light around a bit, you can see the light there is created and being controlled from HDR Light Studio and all of that sent to Houdini. Now if I turn the background back on again, the default background that's on the HDRI map, you'll see that there's a black area to the top and the bottom of the light. This wasn't apparent when you saw it in the reflections because uh, the result of each light is composited in the render view. So uh, the brightnesses are added together. This means that it doesn't matter that there's these dark areas on the visible light source. Uh, but if you see the light source in the view and you don't want to, for example, if the light comes between you and the subject matter like this, 
then the visibility of an uh, area light can be turned off with the cam visibility button here. So that checkbox disabled will mean that the area light is still there, it's still reflecting, it's still illuminating, uh, but you can't, the camera itself cannot see it. So that, could, that setting there can be quite useful when you're lighting. So I'll just duplicate the light, click and drag, move it around, place a few others just for this, quickly for this example. Okay, so we've got some lights in the scene now. I'm gonna turn down the brightness of this background to be really just to one, so it's hardly there. So we've got three area lights, and if we go back to Houdini, you can see we have three area lights there also that are created and got the same name as the lights inside of uh, HDR Light Studio. So let's say that we're happy with this lighting um, and we decide to go across to here and press the stop button because we've stopped in HDR Light Studio. What happens is that the connection, remember, the lights that were being shared, the HDRI content being shared was at a proxy resolution. We were generating it on the fly as quickly as possible and sharing it with Houdini. Now this proxy uh, content disappears when HDR Light Studio uh, is stopped. So the connection automatically links all of the lights to just a stand-in graphic. Uh, which visibly shows that this scene was being lit with HDR Light Studio, but the final rendering of those HDR assets wasn't completed. So what we need to do, and what we can do, is press the Start button again. We'll press OK because we're going to link to the My Mantra hook that was automatically made earlier. Press OK. So Light Studio will start, and when it does, the lighting project is actually embedded in the Houdini scene and it will be restored into HDR Light Studio and that then means that each of these lights will get updated with uh, fresh proxy images generated by HDR Light Studio. Okay, so what we should do to complete the lighting process when we're happy is press the HDR button on the toolbar. So if I press this we can choose the resolution of the HDRI map that is being shared. We'll leave that at 1500 because it's just got this gradient in. And then we can choose the resolution of the images that are on the area lights. So I'm going to set that to 4000 so that they are all 4K images. We then need to choose a name for these. So I'm going to call this uh, New Demo. Press OK. Then press Render. And now HDR Light Studio will generate the HDRI map and the 4K images for the area lights. The connection will then update Houdini to point to those files on disk. And this means that this time we can stop HDR Light Studio and the files will not be updated to point to the standing graphic. So now we can see here that the environment is pointing to the new demo file that we just generated uh, in HDR Light Studio. So now this Houdini scene is ready to render. It's got all the final high quality graphics on there. And um, you've seen that if we wanted to edit that lighting in the future, then it's as simple as uh, starting the HDR Light Studio connection again, and the embedded project will be reloaded into HDR Light Studio where we can continue editing the lighting. So this is the new enhanced workflow for Houdini. Uh, including area light creation and control. Thank you for watching.